Hello and welcome back. We're now going to look at, last time we looked at some crushing wheels setups, now we're going to look at some radial farms. Some of you might have seen before, some are going to be very, very new. So here I have two radial farms. I have the crop farm that you probably have seen before, and I also have a snow farm that is um, that you might not have seen before. In fact, as you can see, we're not getting any snow from this outside, so... I've actually missed a little bit here when making this farm and I haven't extended it as far as it needed to go. So we're going to extend it one more now, um, quickly on camera. So that's just another linear shaft and we have ourselves a plow and we have an automatic snow farm at the top as well. And it's now taking everything off except for the corners I believe. So maybe we want to extend it even further. So you need to be really careful because when you're making these, um, that these snow golems don't escape. And the way to stop that is by having this one gap and then having a fence on the end here. And we're going to put ourselves another snow plough so it's hanging off the edge. And here we go. We're now covering everything because it chucks them about so you have to be really careful. But this will take out all the snow. Now how do we get these two farms? So at the start we got ourselves a gearbox that's going up into a mechanical bearing and that mechanical bearing is connected to this um, radial chassis that's going all the way up. From that radial chassis we put a bit of glue on the side and we connect it to some linear chassis. So I've gone out one over the edge of my farmland so it takes out all of the farms when it goes round. So as these potatoes grow it then gets harvested by these harvesters. These harvesters are connected to the radial chassis using glue. The chest itself, the glue is on, is not connected to the um, linear chassis, it's connected to the radial chassis, as you can see here. Whereas this connector, this station, um, this portable storage device is connected here with some glue. One of us them has escaped. So, I thought they wouldn't be able to jump over this, but apparently you can. So you'll need to have it as too wide, too high, sorry. So one space for the harvester, and then you want it to be too wide, uh, too high above that. And this should stop them escaping. Although sometimes they can get be a little bit silly. There we go, and they can get stuck on there. One way you could fix that is also if you wanted to spend more resources, is to just put more linear chassis so this is a whole wall so they can't actually get on there. And that will stop them jumping up. Um, yes, this portable device is then just glued onto the end of our linear chassis, which connects to our external storage. And this snow device is really, really useful. Um, you can get lots and lots of snow from it, as you can see from down here. It's just popping up load and load of snow, and it's completely automatic, which is really, really good. Okay, so this looks really complicated, but this is a crimson... Um, well, actually, it's a neverwood farm. So we have one of these um, deployers doing crimson fungus, one of these doing bone meal, and then with this radio aspect, it will be chopping down the tree and storing it into the device. And because of all what we've got here, this will turn this back into crimson, along when it gets bone milled. Um, it should do anyway, unless it's already... For some reason it's not working. This is really weird. Um, for some reason. There we go. gets turned and because it goes so quick what happens is when it gets chopped down it gets turned into um, the logs and everything else gets put into this chest so you not only get this logs you get the shroom lights and you get the never warp rock so sometimes it can break a little bit but most of the time it goes really really well and we can turn this into automatic so at the moment we need those uh, crimson fungus and we also need bone meal the thing is that we can create a contraption that turns all of this never warp blocks into bone mill. 
I'm going to jump into uh, one of my servers that I'm part of and I'll show you the contraption that I've got set up. Okay, so this is one of the servers on and this is my sort of crate castle. So let's just uh, let's get rid of the interface for now so we can see it nice and cleanly. So as we come in here, as you can see, it's a big mess in here how I've set up my things. But this, this here is my tree farm. This is my crimson wood tree farm. So I have a rotational bearing that's going up. I have a oh, I have a placer here for um oh maybe I will see this. Um, I have a placer here for uh, the bone mill. Then I've also got. Yeah, let's go all the way up to the top. So I've stored um, using a oak drawer that stores all four things. Then I've got a filter that only takes off the. Um, oh, it's uh, not the warp stem. It only takes off the. Ooh, let me just. So as you see, something breaks. So you need to redo this. But now it'll plant this. And that is taken from a big supply. I do use um, bottle pots for that. However, once it goes off, it takes off all of my um, all of the warped warp blocks, chucks into the hopper, then goes to the composter, and then it goes into a, a hopper which goes into this placer which places it down. So this is my automatic um, never tree farm as you can see um well you can't at the moment you get quite a lot of warp stems and i say quite a lot because that's only a little bit but i've been using it a lot so let's just do a little fly around and i'll show you i've been using it for the roos for quite a lot of the roos i've used it for the roos over here as well this is a very much work in progress build on one of the multiplayer servers that i play on and i use I use this warped log, this warped slabs and warped bricks um, a lot. So, that's how you make the really cool Neverwood farm as well. I really hope that this was useful. Ooh. I really hope this was useful. And, um, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye.